I give you David and Sherry. <laughs> starting, starting is still like, like starting any painting. Uh, first thing that you're concerned with is the size and placement of the objects. So in painting, you want to see things in terms of mass and shape rather than outline. So you're working from the inside out. Usually when I paint a portrait, I'm stalling a little bit until I am, uh, usually the, the model kind of gets into something. And so I, you stall a little bit until the pose really gets set. In, in the background, you don't usually want um, a lot of brush strokes, you know, because the, the way that you create the feeling of of uh, this uh, strong chiaroscuro light is that you um, you have to have more and less. So you have to have things that go back that have less in them, and in this case, the background, and uh, and then more to come forward. So that strong contrast is what creates that uh, chiaroscuro effect, that light and shadow effect. Try to keep the painting looking good at every stage, rather than it looking like you're working in the middle. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, trying try to, to do the finished painting, trying to do the finished painting right from, excuse me, right from the start. You can define a painting, a finished painting, as a, a beautiful, beautiful relationship of all all the elements. And so in, in starting the painting, you have to have the finish, enough of the finish in it so that you can see how everything is working rather than waiting for the very end of the painting to put the highlights on. You see, you've already lost the idea of relationships. The first thing that you put down, you're not trying to match color. What you're trying to do is um, is just make it look lighted, make it look lit. So that was the main thing. And the main thing in the beginning is also just to get enough paint on there that you can do stuff with it, that you can actually move paint around and start to put the non-color in that we were talking about today. But but it's it's all, you know, relationships is the thing. So it's not like, um, which I think is quite often thought, is that people think in terms of, of uh, there being a correct color or a correct value. And, it's really that there is a relationship that exists, and it's the relationship you're trying to get. So to make it dimensional, I would take my first piece of paint and put down, you know, this color, you know, the strongest color that I could muster as the place, just like a highlight should be where if you reached out, you could touch that object. <laughs> the whole illusion of form is getting the person to look inside rather than on an end. I think that this was such an interesting experience because I can remember now over 30 years ago when I uh, saw David's first demonstration and every brushstroke that he did seemed like magic. It was magic. <laughs> I feel the same way about watching 
Sherry, who obviously is far surpassed being a student, but in one sense, of course, has been my greatest, greatest student. And watching her work whenever I took a chance to take a brief glance over to see what she was doing, uh, it really was amazing to see the same quality in her work of brush strokes coming to life, becoming first a face and then really capturing the essence. Well, and also looking it over and seeing your peaches just become not paint but light. It, it, it was amazing to me and, and still magical after all these years. Sort of the mutual admiration society. <laughs>